For everybody that's wondering what's going on right now, we are out on Green Bay fishing for muskies with Doug Wagner. We just hooked up into a big muskie. My sister Jasmine is actually fighting it right now. We're gonna let her take the first fish, so. It's a big Thinking. fish, Jasmine, it's a big fish. Yeah. Keep cranking. I'm trying. <laughs> Oh yeah, nice fish. You're doing good. Okay. Point the rod that way a little bit more. The head on that thing is massive. Keep going a little bit, yeah. Oh. We're backing up. We're okay. backing up. We're backing up. Keep going a little bit, yet. Yeah. Oh, that's big. Jasmine, that is a huge fish. <laughs> that's really big. <laughs> Look at how thick that thing is. Oh my god. 54. 54 and a quarter? 54 and a quarter, yeah. Where my left one is? Okay. Your, your right hand? There. Right hand? Okay, yep, like that? Just like that. Okay. Wow. 54 and a quarter, Jazz. <laughs> how does awesome. that make you feel? Pretty awesome. Welcome to the club. Oh yeah. <laughs> How many fish over 50 inches have you got this year? Uh, I think this is number 12. Um, we've been fishing them for, I think, I've been, fishing, I've been back home from Canada fishing them now for five weeks. Been a hell of a season. 24 inch girth. Wow. Uh, this is my biggest fish in the boat this year. Four and a quarter. I think I got 24. Somewhere in the 24-ish girth range. Um, you can get a better accurate bump on a bump board, but it's still uh, the middle of September, so I don't want to have her out of the water too long. Girth's just a number, length's just a number. It's just an incredible fish. Let's sit here and watch her. Yep. Make sure she goes down. That is a big thing. There she is. She's looking good. There she goes. So what you guys just witnessed was a healthy release of a 54 and a quarter inch musky, Green Bay musky. And uh, yeah, that's something you can't really get back. That, that was a true experience. Even, I didn't even catch the fish and that was just uh, an experience of a lifetime. And this is the second time that it's happened to me, so uh, it, it gets better every time. I think uh, I think we got an addiction starting. Definitely got an addiction starting. Thanks again, Doug, for that. You can't get experiences like that on a normal basis, so. No, that was amazing. That was cool. awesome. Thank you. More than a fish of a life. When he fishes out here almost every day, it's still an experience every time you put a fish like that into the boat in. It just gets better every time you do it, so. I think we're gonna get everything back up and try trolling for a little while and maybe pick up another one, never know. We're locked in the belt, fish on, another one. Is this on one of those same baits or? Nope, it's a different bait. Different bait. I just switched. Uh, Big head shakes on this. I just switched baits and switched up the colors. The one we caught. Oh. Left arm's getting kachowed here. I feel like I'm on that simulator back in iCast again. I'm gonna come back here. Whew! Biggest thing. Keep tension on this thing. Alright. Alright. Oh. Jeez. Lift. Oh boy. Not ready, not ready. Yep. Really good. Alright. Oh! Back to sight. There you go. Oh, yes! Nice. Woo! 
Yes! <laughs> My god! Another one, guys! Huh. So this one isn't as long as Jasmine's, but it's fatter. Jeez, it makes me nervous when he's sitting in the back of the <laughs> splashing with the hooks, you know. Oh my god. Incredible, just incredible. My left arm. Oh. Wow. That is a rush, let me tell you. I felt like I had like a rock band playing in my head when I was catching that fish. Insane. Oh my god, is this thing fast? <laughs> <laughs> wow. I don't have words. No words. That thing is fat. They look massive in the water too. Jeez. Three and three quarter. Oh yeah. Yep. Pinch. Wow. Well, I just busted my personal best again. <laughs> Fifty-three and three quarter with a twenty-four and a half inch girth. <laughs> Put that into perspective. That's big. Fish is doing really well. I can't believe how thick she is. Very thick. <laughs> I thought it was shorter because it was so fat. I now remember what it felt like to lift that fish in spring and they sure are something else out here. Just look at the back on it. I know this camera doesn't do it justice, but the back on this fish is just huge. I'm six he foot puts... three. <laughs> I've got decent sized hands. Yeah. 24 and a half inch girth. It's incredible. Big old head. Oh, incredible day. I mean, how often do you catch two fish over 50 on the same day? Uh, not too often. <laughs> a couple times a year if you're lucky. She's doing really good. Biggest thing is you just gotta take a lot of time with these fish. Make sure you revive them correctly. Keep your head into the waves like we're doing right now. Otherwise you can drown fish if you have their head backwards. You don't have to pump them back or forth or nothing. Just hold them right here. Just make sure they don't roll over on their side. Eventually she's just going to kick out of my hand and live to fight another day. That's so cool. So big. And even the base of the tail. Cool. So they're old, fragile, and delicate. But they're amazing. They sure are. They sure are. Turn, come on. Pull over. There she goes. There she goes. Right. Just hang out with her again. <laughs> wow. Yeah, I was excited about catching one, but now two, it's like, that's a good day. That's a hell of a good day. Good day anywhere. Big kick, and just like that, they're gone into the depths. I'm speechless. 250 plus inch musky in the boat in one day. One day. It's just something that people dream of, especially fishermen. <laughs> and uh, you know, there's no other place to do it other than Green Bay. So uh, it's just phenomenal, phenomenal day out here. Um, the weather is damn near perfect, and uh, we couldn't couldn't really ask for anything more than this. So, oh. That is a relief though, to come out here and just actually boat some muskies, it's just, it's a relief. It's been a tough couple of weeks and pff, hunting, fishing, and this is, uh, this puts a good uh, excitement back into it. Wow, what a trip. I don't even really have words to explain how exciting that trip was. We caught two muskies over 53 inches and that is almost like unheard of. I mean we got really lucky to catch those fish and it, it really was amazing. Being able to get out there and just learn how to fish these fish is amazing. 
Um, it's definitely, definitely starting an addiction and I cannot wait, I already cannot wait to get another one of those fish in the boat. They are amazing animals and they just look beautiful. If you ever get a chance to get out onto the Bay of Green Bay to fish muskies, definitely take advantage of it. Doug Wagner is a great guide and does an awesome job getting you on some big fish. I'm gonna put his information down in the link below where you can hook up with him and go fishing with him yourself. He does a great job. He's super easy to get along with and he makes musky fishing fun. So definitely check him out if you guys are interested or in the area and wanna get out there and catch some muskies. Thank you again so much for watching this video i really hope you guys enjoyed it it's definitely a species that i want to start targeting um, i really haven't targeted it up until now any of you guys are musky fishermen out there i want to know what your personal bests are leave a comment down below because i'm interested to see what you guys have and what you guys have caught um, i know not all of you probably are musky fishermen but i'm curious to see how much of our audience is guys don't forget to go down into the link in the description to pick up your ducks merch sweatshirts t-shirts everything especially with the hunting season coming up, go there, get yourself a camo sweatshirt and uh, make sure you're unseen. There's an awesome video coming up uh, in the next couple of days here that I just filmed yesterday. You guys are definitely gonna wanna stay tuned till so. We'll catch you guys on the next one. Tight lines, peace.